Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today we are going to be taking a look at some more Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. If you've never seen these before, these are what they call HD minis, which are pre-assembled and primed, ready for painting. So you can open the blister pack and theoretically start painting straight away. Although in reality, there's generally a bit of cleanup required and you may need to um, touch up the prime primer before you um, start painting. But yeah, there's usually some flash and things that you need to scrape away in order to get them looking their absolute best. What have we got here? We've got some orcs and we've got some bugbears. These were actually a gift from some of the guys in my Dungeons and Dragons group who obviously feel like I've been giving them an easy time of it and thought they would bring some more monsters into play. Um... Orcs and bugbears. Let's take a look at the bugbears first. Um, and before I go any further, I actually did just want to point out, um, I really, really, really like miniatures in blister packs. Um, I've been a miniatures gamer for over 30 years, and I still have very fond memories of being very young and wandering into my games workshop store and just looking at the racks and racks of blister packs with metal miniatures in and there's something very familiar and nostalgic and warm and fuzzy for me about um, seeing miniatures in blister packs and to be able to go into a shop and see racks of them uh, hanging up and to be able to flick through them and and make those choices um, yeah I really like that but anyway that's just me being weird again let's take a look at these bugbears as always, we get our little plastic bases, which you do not necessarily have to use because the miniatures themselves have um, small amounts of sort of scenic base elements. So you can glue those onto the base if you want, um, and then either paint it and leave the base black, or you can incorporate the base into the black base as well. Or you can just leave them as they are. They do tend to stand up on just their scenic elements as is. Now, bugbears. Um, we are currently playing the Lost Mine of Fandelva um, starter set, Dungeon Dragon starter set campaign, and there are a few bugbears. Um, my heroes, my brave heroes, previously met a bugbear that looked a bit like this. This is um, a miniature from the Dungeons and Dragons adventure board game from uh, many moons ago. And um, it's a really cool game and it's got some really cool miniatures, but it's, the, the miniatures are really big and chunky and kind of cutesy. And um, you can see he's... You more like to want to give this guy a cuddle than be actually intimidated by him. Look at him, he's cute, he's adorable. So, um, kind of cool, but very cutesy and not really in keeping with the um, dark and serious tone of the adventure that I'm trying to convey to my heroes. So, we have these awesome Nolzer's bugbears instead. This guy's got the uh, double-headed battle axe. Um, you can see they're kind of lanky, um, lithe. Uh, bugbears are good at um, surprising people, doing surprise attacks. Um, and there's sort of a... I think it's a cool miniature that, that sort of um, suggests strength and agility. Um, sort of wiry strength. Um, you can see uh, there's a little bit here where the... Um, where the body goes into the feet, that is not a perfect thing, not a, not a perfect match. You might need to use a little bit of green stuff there. But other than that, seems to be pretty much ready to go. I do... I love the face on these, and I love his um, the armoured gauntlet he's got on his on his arm, just on the one arm. Again, there's a little, there's a little bit of gapping there. Um, might not be such a concern because of the uh, the nature of where the join is, but again, might want a little bit of green stuff in there. Um, I do like the Knolls as marvelous miniatures, um, even though they're they're not quite as ready out of the box as they claim to be. But I do really like them because their sculpts have got a lot of character, and also um, they're detailed without being crazy detailed, so you can paint them relatively easily and quickly. 
which is um, a good thing for Dungeons and Dragons because you generally have a lot of stuff you need to paint. Um, and here is the second bugbear with the mace. Um, this one, a slightly more armoured um, version. It's got uh, got the shoulder, got the shoulder pad, got the, uh, the wrist guards, um, some kind of chainmail vest, extra knife on the waist. Um, very cool miniature. Um, not as much gapping on this one. You can see um, there's obviously a join here. But again, the way they've they've designed the miniature, that kind of isn't an issue. I like that very much. Good stuff. So those are the bugbears. And we also have these orcs. Now, um, in Lost Mine of Fandelva, there is an orc presence. Um, these these guys, very cool uh, miniatures, full of character. These guys will probably end up um, being leaders of some kind. Um, uh, the uh, the head of ragtag groups of orcs because they're quite imposing and cool. They don't look like rank and file orcs to me. They look like they have a bit more presence than that. Again, bases. Some of these bases really do um, stretch um, what you can feasibly get on the base. The, this guy is pretty much, he's overhanging a little bit. He could have done with a next size up in terms of the round base. And I think this guy is definitely going to be overhanging. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't include a larger size base. They do do larger sizes. Haha, -ha, I just said do do. So, this is our first one. It's got a, a very cool face. Um, nice vest. Stylish vest. Looks like a string vest. It's got a couple of heads. Couple of skulls doing Games Workshop proud, carrying his skulls into battle. You can see there is um, a, a bit of a nasty mold line here. You can see that that's that's the kind of thing that you need to kind of look for and scrape off, and it, it kind of goes down the leg a bit there. Actually, that could be that that's actually a join. That's where um two two parts of the miniature are joined together. So uh. Again, a little bit of a filler there. But, um, good stuff. Generally, generally a well-assembled one. And I do like that one a lot. But he's got, yeah, he's got a lot of skulls going on. Clearly a war chief trying to prove a point. Look at the deep, deep scarring on the arm there. That's very cool. And finally... Um, oh, I think I think I like this one a little bit more. He's got big tusks. He's got a sort of um, stalwart, ready for battle pose. Ponytail out behind him, ragged cloak, and more. Uh, seems to be more armoured than the other one. Cool axe. That's very cool. Nice. And again, you know, there's there's enough detail on them, um, but I think uh, not so detailed that they won't paint up very quickly. And, uh, and you get a nice look on them. Uh, all of these packs do have, on the reverse, they have, um, like, colour guides, but I think they're actually, like... Um, Produced on computer rather than actually being, rather than being pictures of hand painted miniatures, I think they've been digitally colorized, and um, I find the images very dark. Very so if we look at the uh, the bugbears as well, um, and that makes them very difficult to use as color references. 
Um, would like to have seen them a little bit brighter, a little bit, um, a little bit clearer. So they would be a, a better way to, um, to kind of guide what kind of color scheme you want to do. But there we go. Those are Nolza's marvelous miniatures, orcs and bugbears, soon to be painted. Um, I met, they may well end up on my channel as painting guides, um, and soon to be facing my brave party of heroes and introducing them to the sharp end of this axe. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, queries, or suggestions, please leave them below. Um, I do my best to respond to everybody who comments, and I will see you all hopefully very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.